Hi there. In the last video, we saw how a juggling sequence where we swap, the th swap two balls in the air uh, can be represented by uh, a sequence of numbers. So juggling four balls, we can throw one higher, throw one lower, and they're represented by a five and a three. And if you've had a go at some of the things that, uh, some of the challenges that we've given you, you may have been able to find other sequences. In particular, you may have found sequences of numbers for three ball juggling tricks. But some of the numbers you haven't seen me juggle. So you've seen me do a three, you've seen me do a four, you haven't actually, well you have seen me do a five in the middle of that five three while juggling four balls. But you may have come up with things like 4-2, or 4-4-1, four, four, or even 4-4-4-0. Four, 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 These are three ball juggling tricks. They are three ball sequences that you may have generated. But now the question is, what does 2 mean when we're doing this? Or what does a 1 mean? Or what does a 0 mean? A 4 means we're juggling four balls. But what does it mean to juggle two balls, or one ball, or zero balls? Well, when we draw the diagram for 4-2, we start off by juggling three, so we do a three and a three and a three. And so the three comes down here, the three comes down here, the three comes down here. And then the four has to come down one beat later. One, two, three, four. And the two comes down one beat earlier. One, two. So that's the two. And then we go back to doing three, 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 three. And if you now label this with the hand that's throwing, you can label this right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left. And you'll see here that the four is being thrown with the left hand and coming down to the left hand. Well, that's what happens when I juggle four balls. That's no surprise. You can see here that the two is being thrown with the right hand and coming down to be thrown again with the right hand. Well, maybe that's no surprise. It's an even number. Even numbers perhaps don't swap. If I'm just juggling two balls, I throw the first one, the second one, the first one again with the same hand. It doesn't swap. And you'll see, Nothing happens in the right hand at that moment. So maybe we can simply say that when juggling two balls, the ball bounces in the hand and then the other one bounces in. Maybe this is two ball juggling, each ball staying in its own hand. And if you draw this diagram with two, 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 each ball stays in its own hand. And in fact, we usually cheat. We don't even bother to let the ball go. If we're doing complicated things and there's a two turns up in the middle of all that, just hang on to it or even just take the time and hold it up so people can see it. Well, what about a one? We can do the same thing with the one. As we're doing this, we do a three, we do a three, we do another three. And then we do a 4 and a 4 and a 1. These are the numbers to tell me how far to go. So with a 4 I go 1, 2, 3, 4. I come down here. So the 4 comes down here. The 4 comes down here. And the 1 comes down into the immediate next hand. And of course if this is a left, this is a right. And it's the immediate next throw. So that will mean that doing a one requires that I take the ball and put it in the other hand ready to throw. This makes sense. This is one ball juggling. So this means I should be able to do a four to come back to the same hand, a four to come back to the same hand, and a one immediately passing across. I'll show you in a moment. And with the four, four, zero, Again, we do the same sort of thing. We say, that's a four, that's a four, that's a four, and that's a zero. So the four, one, two, three, four, comes down here. So that's the four, that's the four. The next four falls off the bottom of my diagram. But I've only got three balls. Now they're all in the air. My hand, at that moment there, is empty. So perhaps to say that I'm juggling zero balls really does mean empty hands. So, 
Let's have a look at all of these in action. In the middle of juggling three balls, I should be able to do a four and a two. I'll do the four with the orange ball. I don't know what the two will be with, but you will see next time round that I do the four and the two. And I'm just holding up the two. That time it was the green, this time it's the yellow. I can do a four and a two. I can do a four, four, one. To do that, I need to do a four and a four and a one. You'll see that happen again. I'll start with the orange ball in this hand, and you'll see me go four, four, one. And again, four, four, one. And again, four, four, one. And I can do that one constantly. I can do all of them constantly, but I can do that one constantly. Four, four, one, 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 and drop back to doing three. Four, 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 zero. Yes, I can do that, and I'm going to do it starting with the orange ball from that hand, and I get four, 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 and there's the zero, the empty hand for that one beat. Four, 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 zero, four, 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 zero, four, 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 zero, four, 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 zero. And that was juggling four with one coloured invisible and a collision which made me draw. But these are possible. These sequences can be done, and in fact now, maybe, you can see the beginnings of a pattern of patterns. And the other thing to notice is the average of each of these lines. It's three. Coincidence? No. More to investigate still. Cheers.